The National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers has threatened to embark on a nationwide strike over the sack of more than 50 workers by an indigenous oil firm in Port Harcourt River State. The union picketed the office of the company and embarked on a peaceful protest to register their grievances. Correspondent Uchi Okoro was there. A now familiar tune of dissatisfaction by the organized labor in rejection of a status quo that threatens the welfare of workers. Nupeng is obstructing access into this organization whose management it accuses of sacking workers in October 2019 outside laydown procedures. All affected staff are allegedly told to leave without the payment of their entitlements. We are here today as a union to register our protest against Violent Energy West African Limited, a company owned by Adolo, who, one more, who has been in a consistent habit of denying workers' rights and their benefits. He terminated the workers without payment in this guide of going to maintain a rig. Since then, he laid off the workers without payment, without engaging the union. Nubank says it took through the streets as a last resort after exhausting all measures to resolve the dispute. The oil and gas union is calling for the intervention of government before the matter snowballs into a nationwide strike. We have written to Federal Minister of Labor, River State, and they have intervened and invited the director. He has turned down the, vis uh, the, the invitation. We have also written to Abuja. Abuja has invited him for a meeting on this very issue. He has turned it down. We have thrown this option. It's either those in authority, the Nigerian government at the state and the federal level, or the agencies, consecutive agencies, call this man to order, or else no pen will do what we know best to do. In the It's a three-day warning protest, but so far, efforts to get officials of the organization to respond to these allegations have been unsuccessful. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.